Besides her banger theme, is Fiametta a skip or pull? Today we'll be breaking down her abilities to help you guys decide whether or not you should be pulling for her. Taking a look at her max stats here, it's going to be E2 level 90. You can see maximum HP is going to be 1926. Free deployment time is going to be 70 seconds. Attack power is going to be 861. This will get a little bit of a buff depending on what skill you're using. And we'll talk about talents and stuff like that here in a minute. But cost is going to be 29. Defense is going to be 156. She is going to be a one block and she's going to have zero resistance there for magic and attack time is going to be 2.8 seconds. Her range is going to be that compared to W. She does get a little bit of a boost of range in one of her skills. Moving into talents, her first one is going to be Fiametta. Constantly loses HP. This effect will not reduce her HP to zero, though. When HP is higher than 50%, you gain Vigor Effect of plus 25% attack. When HP is higher than 80%, the Vigor Effect is double to 50% there for her attack. The next one is going to be when skill is not active, attack speed is plus 30, quotations on plus three. So this is going to be an E2 with five pots in her. So this is going to give you kind of the backs that you can get basically for her talent. Quick talking about infrastructure skills. When stationed at a dorm, self mood recovery per hour is plus two and becomes unaffected by any other source of mood recovery effects. Fellow sufferers is her next one. When stationed at a dorm, if self has max mood, swap mood values with the operator that entered the current dorm before self. So kind of a wonky thing for her dorm, but I wanted to mention it in case you guys are wondering. Moving into our skills, these are all going to be maxed out on masteries here. It's going to be called You Must Resist going to get attack range plus one so huge amount of range here for her and attack plus a 100 is going to be a manual trigger here for skill activation duration is going to be 30 seconds pretty simple pretty cut and clean but the range on this one's going to be massive here moving on to skill two it's going to be called you must repent it's going to be a manual trigger insta attack so fiametta fires a scorching bullet forward that leaves scorch marks along the projectile path and explodes upon reaching the end of her attack range dealing 400 of physical damage thereafter the scorch marks explode in sequence each dealing 200% of physical damage. So this is going to be very good at keeping kind of the lanes, a bunch of people piled up in one little spot and single line. Basically, you're going to be able to do quite a bit of damage and you're going to be able to do like that first range of attack as well as like the sequence after it. So it's going to be pretty cool. I don't know how it's going to kind of fall when it comes to like Ifrit and stuff like that. I don't know if she's really competing for that, but it's nice to have that kind of lane holding ability for her. Lastly is skill three. You must repay is going to be the name of this one. Manual trigger, infinite duration, fix the attack target to the furthest pile directly ahead and increase slash area attacks deal 125 percent damage attacks against enemies in a small area around the attack target instead deal 220 percent damage infinite duration skill can be manually deactivated i can see this being kind of useful in like is2 maybe some different story missions where you have a boss or maybe like somebody who is like pr pretty tanky or something like that and you're trying to kind of do damage around them or they're kind of sitting in a spot for a very long time maybe you can just do kind of aoe damage for a bit i'm not necessarily sure how nice this is going to be until i actually get my hands on it and see if i'm able to do it in a couple different ways but i can see it being useful in some different niche little areas if you guys are enjoying the content consider giving the video a thumbs up it always helps out push out the content as well as grow the channel and i always appreciate it so let's go ahead and get into the rest of the video i wanted to show this little part here this is going to be all the materials you need to get her from basically e0 all the way to e2 level 90 and on top of that get her skills from zero or at least one to all the way to seven and all the masteries as well the only thing this does not show is going to be the xps so everything else, LMD, materials, chips, all that type of stuff is going to be right here. A lot of you guys probably know this, but I thought it'd be kind of interesting to show you. Moving into the rundown of the overall character, it appears that Fiametta will be heavy AOE damage dealer, but will be hard to manage without a healer due to the fact that a lot of her stuff and her buffs actually rely on the talents, which rely on her having a higher percentile of her actual HP. So you're actually going to probably have to use a dedicated healer in some form or some way to actually get her damage and that seems to be a big part of her kit make sure to click this video right here if you have not seen my reaction to the cn collaboration that's happening in arknights very soon as well as this video if you are wondering what youtube has given to you that is the video that youtube thinks is the best and i will trust whatever they say anyway guys i'll see you in the next one have a good rest of your night guys peace